Hey, Nick, we're filming. Hey guys, welcome to another Revival Cycles Tech Talk. My name is Jeff. Today I'm going to talk about one of the most common Bluetooth connectivity issues between the M unit and your phone. To demonstrate this, we're going to use our test board alongside a screen capture to demonstrate exactly how you fix this problem. So this video is going to serve as a guide for both first time users as well as troubleshooting. If you've paired your phone to the M unit before, first thing we want to do is enter the settings on your phone, locate the paired devices, and delete the M unit from your phone. If you have paired them before and you try to skip this step, the phone will not recognize the M unit. Once we've done that, we're ready to pair the M unit with your phone. Now open the MRide app and select your bike from the garage. Then click the gear in the top right corner to access the settings menu. Choose hardware pairing and M unit blue. Then press continue. Real quick, connect the M unit to your motorcycle completely and exactly in accordance with the instructions. Press and hold the horn button while you switch the ignition key on. The LEDs on the M unit should race around and the turn signals flash. Moving on to step three, press and hold the start button until the blinkers flash. They claim this will take 10 seconds. The longest 10 seconds of your life. When prompted, select pair and the M unit will immediately begin hardware calibration. Once calibration is complete, the M unit will default back to the on status. M ride ready. If pairing fails and you get the cannot find hardware prompt, I suggest starting this process over from the beginning before following the steps that they provide. In my personal experience, this can sometimes take a couple of attempts to achieve a successful pairing. In this video, I actually switched the key off a little prematurely. When your paired phone is within range and the ignition is off, the lock input LED will flicker. Now is the time of video where most people ask for money or donations or whatever. I'm not going to ask you for that. What I'm going to say to you is, if you want to see more videos and you want to learn more of what we've learned, and you want to see a deep dive in a lot of these topics, go to our website and buy something. We sell everything from motorcycle gear, helmets, uh, motorcycle parts, specialized tools. We sell lots of things and they've all taken us years to figure out what the best stuff is and we figured it out. So go to revivalcycles.com. There's some really good stuff there. Everything from like kick-ass hand grips from Posh to Radiance LED lighting and everything in between. We want to teach you what we know, but this stuff takes time and it takes real effort to make these videos and make them good for you guys. So go support us by helping yourself to the cool stuff you already need. And it helps us because we make a little bit of profit and then we can justify doing more videos. Thanks for your support.